Which of these two balls will fall down first? This is a 150 gram tennis ball and this is a 5 kilogram shot put ball. If I drop both at the same time, which ball will hit the ground first? If you also think that this heavy shot put ball will fall first, then congratulations, you think like Aristotle and you are also wrong. Let's perform this historical experiment at exactly the same time. Actually, 2300 years ago, Aristotle believed that every object has a tendency to come to a state of rest. So the more massive the object, the greater its tendency to come to a state of rest. But Galileo disproved this in 1590 by dropping two objects simultaneously from the Leaning Tower of Pisa, although he couldn't provide an explanation for it, which Newton later worked on and finally provided. This is happening because there is a force called gravity that pulls two objects downwards according to their mass. The greater the mass, the greater the gravitational force on it. And that's why ultimately both objects fall at the same speed. But if gravity is a force, then why couldn't Newton prove where this force is being created from? This is why Einstein had to come into the picture to prove that gravity is not actually a force. In fact, these two balls are not falling down mm. at all. As soon as these balls were dropped, they went straight into inertia, meaning there is zero force on them. And the space-time between these balls and the ground is compressing, showing the natural path of these balls towards the center of the Earth. Space-time is compressing towards the Earth's center of mass from all sides, and the Earth's electromagnetic repulsion is resisting it, which is why the Earth can accelerate while staying in the same position. This acceleration is what we feel as the force of gravity 